Ying Ying Zhang's parents and brother both talked to the jury through a translator today. Her mother's pre-recorded video testimony describing how she wanted to be a grandmother. So emotional, a juror had to leave the courtroom just to collect themselves. How am I supposed to carry on? I really don't know how to carry on without her. Ying Ying Zhang's mother's translated video testimony. A testimony so emotional, it led to a court recess so the crying juror who had to excuse herself could rejoin the court. After questioning, she was allowed to remain on the jury. A jury that will decide whether Brent Christensen, convicted of kidnapping and killing 26-year-old Zhang, will receive a death sentence or life in prison. The case was tried in federal court, which still allows juries to hand down death sentences, despite the state's ban on capital punishment. On June 9, 2017, Christensen spotted Zhang, who was waiting at a bus stop, took her to his apartment, where he choked, beat her with a bat, raped, stabbed, and ultimately decapitated her. Zhang had been in the United States only months. She is part of me, as if my life without her would not be complete, her father testified. Some of Zhang's fiance's testimony was stricken from today's record after defense called for a mistrial, citing improper victim impact testimony. The judge telling jurors they can't consider the opinions on Christensen, his crimes, or his punishment. I just like a girl I don't remember where. At one point, Christensen cried during Zhang's father's testimony, but has shown no remorse for the barbaric killing he carefully planned and has never revealed what he did with Zhang's body. While prosecutors are seeking the death penalty, defense attorneys say life in prison is enough, pointing to Christensen's mental health struggles and attempts to get help. Federal prosecutors are expected to formally rest their case tomorrow morning. That's when the defense will call witnesses of their own. We are expecting to hear from Christensen's father. Reporting live in the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Right Tara. Here. Tara, thank you. Stay with CBS 2 for the latest developments in the Christensen sentencing. We'll have reports from Peoria tomorrow on CBS 2 News and CBSChicago.com.